Hi there, I'm Jenny Mo, the owner of Dog on Wheels, and I'm gonna show you how to move the wheels on your rear wheel cart. So first of all, I'm gonna show you that you have six options for where to put your wheels. In the block, you've got a row of three holes, and there's three holes on the bottom. So right now we're gonna move our axle position from the upper middle to the upper forward position. So tools that you need, uh, two wrenches. You could use, um, you have to forgive me, I don't know the names of all the tools. You could use one of the ones that has the fixed position and that would be easier because one you're just gonna hold stationary and one you're gonna move to undo the bolt here. And uh, possibly a rubber mallet or a hammer if you like, but most likely I'm gonna be using my feet for this. So um, I will show you how to do all that. Um, and the reason that I'm doing the video here and not my husband Ron is that if I can do it, you can do it. So I'm going to put one of my wrenches on the inside of the bolt here. I'm going to open it up. And then this one's going to stay stationary. And the other wrench on the other side. Okay, so it looks like that. So now I'm going to undo, going to hold one side stationary and undo the other. So these ones weren't on too tight. So it might take a little bit of work if your dog's been using the wheels for a bit. There may be some grit in there, so it might be a little bit hard to get it off. Um, so once you do that, you're going to remove your wheel. And make sure you don't lose the spacer. And then we need to get this, the bolt, out of the hole. So this is where you might choose to use your rubber mallet or your hammer. If you're using a hammer, I would put a little washcloth over it before you bang the end, um, mainly just for your own ear's sake. So I'll give this a shot. Oh, that was easy. Um, but alternately, I'll show you, you could put the bolt on the floor and then push the cart down. Again, this cart hasn't really been used, so this is sliding around nice and easy. I will tell you that if your dog's been using your cart for a while and now you're moving the holes, it can be a lot tougher. So don't get worried if your bolt doesn't move this easily. So anyway, I'm gonna pull this out and put it into the position that I want. So to explain the different hole positions, the rear hole is generally what we'll- Which one? Sorry. <laughs> the rear hole is where we often will start and depending on where your dog's leg is, we're looking at where the axle position is in relation to your dog's hip or, um, and leg. So if the wheel is slightly behind like this, um, as long as your dog has nice strong front legs, um, that will be a good position for you. If your dog's starting to have a little bit more trouble, um, then we're gonna move the wheel. You just wanna move it one at a time. Then you're gonna move it to the middle position. So, um, and for dogs with longer backs, that's usually where we'll start. Um, if you have any questions about this, just email me at doggonwheels at gmail.com and I'm happy to help you uh, determine where the best position is for your dog. And the reason that I'm taking this video is we're wanting to move the axle position forward to help unweight the front legs a little bit for some of our dogs. So by doing that, I'm gonna push this through, use the mallet. So by moving the wheel forward in front of the hip joint, it helps to counterbalance the cart per se. So if you think of this as um, like a seesaw or a fulcrum, if the wheel is in front of our dog's base of support, it's going to tip the weight back and help off weight the front legs a little bit. So especially then we would generally want a belly strap on the cart as well. So if you don't have one of those, let us know and we can add that to your cart. Um, but that's the main reason that we would be moving the wheels forward is to help, help out the front legs a little bit and counterbalance the cart. All right, so I'm gonna come back to pushing the bolt through. I've moved it forward all the way so you can try just pushing it 
and you can use your mallet or your hammer to tap it all the way through. All right, so we're gonna get our spacer. Make sure you put that on first. And then your wheel and your bolt. Pardon our assistant, he had cookies to keep him busy, 